Tim, thank you so much for joining me no today. Worries, mate. Um, I just wanted to start off with Spartacus. Cool. Um, and Good place to start. Yeah. Um, now, you took over midway through the series from yeah, after the tragic passing of Andy. Um, how did how was that like um, coming into an established role? Did you try to uh, did you try to like mimic him a little bit, or did you want to make it your own sort of character? Well, yeah. So, I mean, it's obviously the, the saddest story. He was, I mean, at the time it was slightly easier to handle because he was. We'd only heard that he was sick again, which was horrible. But he was getting himself better, and that's all we were really focused on. Because, and I was kind of like, well, if I could just kind of keep the seat warm for him and not screw his show up, that would be ideal. Like he'd, he'd let it go. But you know, it's like just. It's just a sad situation, and it was. I was very grateful because everybody involved with it was very welcome, including Andy. He sent me an email being like, "Good luck, man. I hope you do really well." Which was, in hindsight, knowing what he was going through at the time, because uh, I saw. You ever see See you Soon? That documentary. Mm-hmm. It's, I did. Yeah. It's, it's a lot, and it was a lot for me to watch. And a lot of the conversations we'd have with production, or like, was like, oh, is Andy going to come over and visit the set? And they're like, oh, he's got some stuff going on. And you're like, oh, that's cool, of course. Like, you know, yeah. all thinking that everything was going to work out, and then you sort of see that you see the context, and you're like, oh, Jesus Christ, it was just just really sad. Um, wish it was different, frankly. But everyone was really welcoming and kind, and made my introduction very welcoming and, and as easy as it could be in the circumstances and I was very grateful for that because I'd also not done a whole lot of stuff professionally, like I'd done a lot of student films but there's a big difference between a massive show like that so I was very grateful for all the help that that we that I got doing it but it was um, yeah no, I was I was I was a very lucky person to, to be able to be in such a positive environment given that such sad things were transpiring at the time before all of this, yeah. were you interested in that show specifically yeah. to be involved in Spartacus? Was it something that you were hoping to be a part of? I wouldn't dream of I would never have dreamt of being a part of that show because, I mean, who was I? I, was, I? When I was going for it, I was like, they're going to wake up one day and be like, what are we doing? Who's this guy? No way. And um, I still don't know how it all worked out. But, um, yeah, I was, I was kind of like, my best friend in the world was kind of like, have you watched Spartacus? I'm like, oh, no, what's that? And he's like, it's a gladiator show. I'm like, ah, oh, it sounds cool, but I don't know. And then he was like, you should watch it, man. It's really good. And he got me to watch the first season. I was like, oh, my God, this is awesome. And I was, I was like a massive fan of the show. So it was like extra weird to be, be you know, asked to be part of it. And it was, so I, I also had a sense of like, wow, this is, I, I love this show. Don't ruin the show. <laughs> like, it's a bit of pressure. <laughs> A bit of pressure from yourself as well. As the Just, yeah, well, because I, I, I could relate. Yeah. It was, and it was like it was because it was a weird time as they then announced me, and a lot of fans were like, "Boo!" kind of thing, you know. And people were always like, "That sucks." I'm like, "Well, no," nah, because I would have been the same. If it was anyone else, I'd have been like, "But I want Andy," and as you would, as you should, you know. So it was it was weirdly easier for me to take some of those early shots from people that were just passionate about the show that they loved because I was like, I get it, I'd be the same. Moving on to the to the finale. Yeah. Right? Um, so your character uh, your character died right at the end, which if anyone that knows the story of Spartacus knew that was coming. I always found it funny when people were like, oh, you've ruined it. I'm like, nah, that's <laughs> his history's ruined it. Yeah, yeah, like we've known, this, we've known the conclusion for 2,000 years. Yeah, you've, you've had time. You've, you've had, had time. time. Yeah. <laughs> um, funnily that my partner didn't look it up. And I've I, had I, that. I knew too. that it was coming, <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, I really hope they make it. Uh, yeah. Well, in a sense, I mean, yeah, yeah. maybe we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, do yeah. you think it was maybe a little unglorified in the sense that I mean, look, there are certain historians that say that he died in the midst of battle, and yeah. it's so open. It was such yeah, an well, open I mean, finish for him. It could have gone either way, like Crassus trained to, to defeat gladiators, yeah. and instead it was just a random foot soldier that threw a spear. Well, that because we talked about that because you're like, what do you do, like? And, and you're like, even just on a narrative level, it was kind of like, how do you end this story so that the hero wins, but history is respected? So you're like, he's got to kind of nearly lose to classic stories, you know, nearly lose, overcome everything, and win for all intents and purposes. Yeah. And then, and it's, I, I actually really liked it because there's a certain level of fate where you just like what do you do like how you know and it was and it's it's dramatic and it's tragic and it's and it's it is it's kind of low key in the way that you're just like wait you're angry because it's but it's 
we're, we're trained to have so many Marvel moments and stuff like that where there's the, these heroic shots of like of overcoming all you know like like the end game and stuff like that and yeah. I guess one of my biggest surprises was when it's like oh Thor's stopped him and oh okay you know and, and it changes what you expect in some ways and so there's something sadly glorious to me about the ending where you're like oh wow they're like going to change history and then you're like oh life and it's it's a little sad but it's it's a reminder of how like things aren't necessarily the perfect s- special world that everybody wants and you've got to just kind of take each day as it comes and make the most of it because there's you just you don't know even on the, the at the moment of triumph you just you just never know there's something i don't know some something sad and sweet and interest you know some pathos in that mm. would you what would you have done I don't know either. That's, that's, the thing. that's the thing. I don't know. And I feel like... You could go in Glorious Bastards and be like, and they win. And they you win. You know, yeah. and that's fine. We talked about that. You know, like, yeah. there's, there's a version of that you could do. Um, or you could... You can't you can't kill Crassus because no, the history not. says you can't unless you unless you are going away from that. <laughs> I'm very far you, away from that. You know you you <laughs> could we, you know you can have Spartacus survive and get away, but then not really the hero's journey. Hero's journey tends to be you sacrifice everything for the good of the few or the good of the people that you're protecting, like like in Gladiator. You know it's it's yeah. like generally in stories like that the hero doesn't get out of it most of the time because then it's sort of like. Oh, well, kind of worked out all right. You know, it's sort of like it doesn't. It, the ending where he gets away, you're like, oh, well, that's that's nice for him. It mm. it's, doesn't have the same hurt. It doesn't hurt as much, and it doesn't. The characters that do survive, like your Agrons and stuff like that, you just like, oh, it, there's a certain. It, it I don't know. It, to me, it creates on on average. There's nothing's perfect, you know. Like it, it creates a story that's just a little fuller, a little like harder, a little bit more challenging because you, you don't just go him and his mates get away scot-free and, yeah. and they just spent the rest of his life, you know, they didn't tell you in history but he actually got away and all went running from home. Because like there was in history there is like enclaves of those uh, of those um, uh, rebels that they, they were in the foothill, the foothills of the, as at least according to reports 300 years later so you never know. Yeah. But like you know they're like hiding in certain parts around the areas of Rome and there's another one up there and they eventually find them and wipe them out which is sad. Yeah. But you know, there was the couple more years of kind of some hidden slaves off the off the radar, as it were. So, you know, you could have done that, but then the ending's a little inconclusive, a little in- a- 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 lacks finality in a sense. It's, yeah, it would have been right? imagination, really, rather than which is fine too. You know, like yeah. it's it's hard. Like I was I was always really proud of the ending in the sense that it was like it's really it's really it's a it's surprisingly hard for any television show to stick the landing, as it were. Mm-hmm. And I I was always proud that we I, I feel like we have created a sh- an ending where fans of the show on average not every can't please everyone but on average people would be like okay all right that's a that's okay i, I buy that you know the other shows you're sort of like mm, yeah okay. you know, or you just like finish up because you've gone a couple of seasons too long or whatever it might be you know which happens a lot with uh the bigger shows uh yeah. it didn't i didn't feel like it happened with Spartacus. it, it did wrap yeah. up in a good way i was pretty happy with that but, overall but yeah, speaking on. of that um, there was a little bit of an open ending in the sense because obviously history happened in 2000 sure years did. later. Uh, we know what kind of happens the third triumvirate. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Caesar. Yeah, well, they, they talked about like that was my question. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's, it's uh, poor Todd because like everybody's like nobody wanted to finish that show because it was so much fun to work on. And so I believe that there were pretty serious talks about doing a spin off right. where it was like Caesar and Crassus and what happens next. Yeah, obviously I didn't care because I'd be dead. No, <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Uh, but it would have been like that. Would have been cool. But it, it's again, it's just hard to. It's hard to make television, and so you got to get everybody on board and everybody signing off on it. And I guess there was other stuff coming through, the, and it just for whatever reason, apparently it got reasonably close, and then didn't didn't quite didn't quite go ahead. So whether they're going to do it again, I don't know. Uh, I still think it'll be a great show. I, like I think that period of history is fascinating. Yeah. Um, specifically, even, even in some regards, even more so than the Spartacus. Like that's a good storyline because you know the underdog fighting against the big guy. It's a good story. But then, like watching Rome become what Rome becomes, and the the political. I always liked watching the Roman part of Spartacus because it was so. You know, it's like Game of Thrones light in a way with all these machinations and like all these like backstabbing things. And, and I think that would be just all that would be in that. Scene. It'd be great. It'd be really cool. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, you know, it's above my pay grade, sadly. <laughs> 
Uh, we'll move a little bit away from Spartacus. You've done uh, a bit of work on Gears of War. That's cool, yeah. Um, now, there, are you working on any Gears of War content at the moment? Wouldn't be allowed to say anyway, but um, <laughs> yeah, last, I actually read recently that they're like, they're pushing Gears of War 6 to like a date in the future yeah. that they, um, you know, I was like, oh, are they? Oh, well, I'll be here. <laughs> to see how that ending turns out um, but yeah honestly that's one of those things where I don't even know sadly I, I know they're doing like more Gears of uh, War 5 like expandable like DLC and stuff like that so they may be focusing on that for I, th- I also heard that they're changing Unreal engines to like the newer engine so that may require a certain retooling of all the technology so I don't know if that's delaying it or if they're choosing to go in another direction or whatever it might be as of yet, I don't, I don't know. So, <laughs> unfortunately, one of those like, oh, cool, thanks, actor, great. Give me some no news, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Pleasure, mate. And I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the call. It's always good. So, yeah, will, you too. Thanks.